What's up, everyone? What's going on? Happy, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. What's up, guys? We're, We're Django. Here, here's John. You want to see John? That's John. Oh, hi, John. <laughs> What's, how, you, how are you, Vince? How are you doing? You know, I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And you? It is my official weekend, so I'm doing well. It's, you know, it's really the that's the way to do it. Start your weekend on a Thursday night. And we got uh, John here. How are you doing, John? I'm good. Sorry. John I thought that uh, intro went a little bit longer. I, I mean, I do love the intro. Yeah, the intro is good. Play a little extra music. But we got a lot of people popping in. Uh, uh, but we got the early crowd. Should we start with the early crowd? Yeah. Who was the early crowd? Love the early squad. All the way. Uh, Anna. Anna was the first one to comment. Early squad in there so we got anna we got sheila we got david hanging out early with them so everyone chatting it up yeah come in here early guys chat up talk up see what's going on dr john was in here earlier so got all kinds of people hanging out with us we got monster pete what's going on uh we got who else came in here i saw a couple other people after the early squad uh barry barry seven month member thanks barry for supporting Congrats. the channel hanging out with us don't forget you got a uh, new month so if you are a channel member if you like to use your free super chat for the month you can utilize it or if you haven't become a member you can do that tonight just click that little button chase chase are hanging out honestly it was an amazing week for star wars and funko i'm just gonna put that out there Papa Funko UK, Sir Bass, what's going on? Built a giant, a new Spider Man Lego mask. Oh, awesome. nice. Yeah, that sounds fun. I haven't built Legos in a little while. It feels like it's been a while. We got a uh, Jetman. Hopefully, he has a boat. So, hopefully, he has a boat to get through the rain, I guess, tonight. Yeah, we had a, we're in the middle. It's It was snowing today. So, I, oh. winter, winter is officially oh. back. Uh, so, follow up. What's up? Hi, Shy Guy. What's going on? We've got so many people in the house. Grace is hanging out with us tonight. Kelser is hanging out with us. We got Tips Week. What's going on? Uh, and we got Vince's mom. Oh, hi, Mom. What's going on? So, yeah, a bunch of other people are starting to join us. Magma, uh, what a great week for Star Wars. And then happy PFO, everyone. Yes, it is PFO. Les, thanks for hanging out. Tony, so many people. Uh oh, David. David is 12 month, one year. Happy one year anniversary for joining, uh, being a channel member. Thanks, David, for supporting and having fun. Yeah, a lot, a lot of good stuff. Like I said, uh, here, here's a question we'll probably answer in a little bit. C2E2. Maybe we'll talk about what's going on with C2E2. Tony, Maybe. Little, yeah. little news. Little you know, news. for. No, I did not get it. And I'll be honest, I even if I would have, well, I didn't get in for two reasons. One, you had, to, or, you had to get your tickets before the 25th. I bought mine on mm -hmm. the 29th. So you weren't even allowed to enter for the booth. But I'll be not honest, great. we're going to be there such a limited amount of time. And 
all all sincerity, I hope that we get to meet people. I'm really going to meet more people than to go see the Funko stuff anyway, because we're not taking bags or anything with us. We're not driving. We're flying there. So I don't know if I'd be able to take much back anyway. So honestly, can I say this? I know there's a lot of people that get really hyped up for the time slots, but I think waiting in line at the Funko booth has got to be one of the worst ways to spend your time. At it, a big if you're there podcast. for three days, like I would be willing to do it one of those days. You know what I mean? If yeah, but like you got to, even if you get a time slot, you're waiting there for hours. And it could sell out. Like, and it could sell out. Thing, so, like I want that Tony Stark. What right. if I wait in the line for four hours? Right. And they and sell out of Tony there, Stark. And they sold out because all the people in front of you wanted that pop. Like, right. So I just, I feel like you're just so much better off going. And this goes not just for the Funko booth. Like, I don't want to wait in line in any booth. I would rather, if you want to go for an autograph, like, go wait in line for that person to get the autograph because that is a true experience that you won't be able to get. But I know there's a lot of people who didn't get time slots and they're really bummed out. Like, don't be bummed out. Like, Go to the con. There's going to be so many other booths with Funko Pops. There's going to be so many other collectors and people from the community there. Like, go spend time with those people instead of waiting in line. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that's, gonna be that's what we're looking forward to more than more than picking up the pops. Because, you know, if I get to spend thirty bucks instead of fifteen on something, or forty instead of fifteen, it's worth so it. Be it. It's worth it. Yeah, it's but, worth it because that time is going to be much more valuable, most likely. Yeah, so, I hope. So I think that's a great, you know, C2E2. This is the first year ever C2E2, right? Funko Pop Boom. Yes. Funko is supporting them. They, I guess, backed out of WonderCon this year. They backed out of ECC this year, it seems like, so far. we So we have C2E2, which is cool. And then it's interesting, the shared sticker just says Entertainment Expo. It's not like Spring Shared or anything like that. Like normally with ECCC or sometimes WonderCon and stuff like that, it would be like a different shared sticker. So I, like yeah, I, I, think, I think it's good that there isn't a lot of difference because that's the other thing too. I, I don't anticipate, could be wrong, but I don't, and you guys can definitely weigh your opinions as well. Like, I'm not anticipating a huge price difference between the con sticker and the shared sticker, unless it's a limited piece. For the limited pieces, of course, there's going to be, you know, some some high price values there, especially out of the gate. But for the regular stuff that's going to be shared with your why? Why do you say stuff, that? I just don't see going for like. Are you saying this going forward? Or are you yeah. saying this in this one in particular? I, I'm saying going forward. I I don't see because I I don't see. That's fair a lot of like sticker collectors anymore. Like I, I don't, or like people that are, well, people, I should say this, people that are going to say, no, I'm going to pay. Like, a, I feel like the last big one where there was a really sharp uh, difference but, or harsh difference between the con stick and the shared sticker was Anakin from NYCC oh. with the dual lightsabers. Like, I feel like that one. And I was even in that boat. I was like, all right, you know, I want that one and I will pay more for the con sticker. But it gets to a certain point where I just I don't feel like the community is going to pay hundred like two hundred dollars for a con sticker versus fifty dollars for a shared sticker. I think most people nowadays are going to go with the shared sticker. Yeah, it's interesting you say that. You know, John, I don't disagree with you on that one. I think that you might be onto something. Yeah. I think that times might be changing a little bit. I, you know, I was trying to go back in my head and, you know, before the pandemic, it was the like it was a different story, and that's kind of why I said twenty seven. Like I can remember still like the 2017 pop and i'm not saying that there's not some since then there's definitely been some since then that are big discrepancies but you know especially since like the end of the pandemic you know 22 23 now and now into 24 yeah you might be right you you might not see the big uh giant swings anymore or maybe it's going to take uh you know a long time and will we ever get back to that 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 is a good point Right. Anime might be different, Tommy. You might be right. Anime might be different with certain ones, but um, anime is kind of its own animal right now. Anime is weird. Yeah. Anime is weird because all I get is people that ask for anime, and then when we have anime, nobody ever... They don't, they don't want your anime. Want the, nobody <laughs> wants anime unless they could get it for like a super steal. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think that's why the, the pops that have chases sell so well because I think people are looking to get it on that you know, for the cheap yeah. or maybe people are looking to flip it too. I mean, that could be 
that could be it too because people do uh pick up some of the grailier uh you know anime pops but yeah, yeah. it's interesting well yeah how will it how will that go this year i'm, I'm gonna be curious to see that and like I, said, I could be completely wrong I, I that's just how i'm feeling right now i don't know i feel like i agree with you so i feel like you have to be right well, let's go through each one of them. We can we can say would we grab or pass on each one, and then maybe talk about it. Uh, I think this is probably easy one right now. First one up is the only soda of C two. You guys cereal. ever heard about the con sicker for a soda? No, never. No, me neither. But, and I'm a sicker collector. I, I, do I think haven't it's heard kind of fun. I've seen some. They look good, actually. Some of them really look good, like because they're smaller and cut out and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Like some of the old ECCC ones and stuff. But this would be a grab for me. I definitely, I would like to get a Jiminy oh, or this two. Is, this is a definite. I'm definitely yeah. picking this up. Oh, 100 percent. It was funny. Um, I feel like there's still people who are like questioning if Funko. Like we've had people message us i don't know if they're seeing old videos or if they're just watching other people's videos but like literally the day that this was announced people were messaging us and they were saying like hey we heard funko is done with sodas and i used to like give people like a reasonable explanation of like what's going on and for those people who just messaged us that day i just sent them this post i'm like funko yeah. just announced this like that said not, there there's a ton done. of these though there yeah, is a ton there? but well, it's a cute Alan? cute cute character well, 13 5 i think 13? oh yeah they'll be there for a little bit they'll, they'll be, be there, there for a little bit but yeah. you know that's okay it's a great soda i love but, this so i think it's a good one to grab it's a new soda to be excited about which we haven't got a lot of new ones to be excited about lately no, um no. you know we're still waiting for our big old maui to show up in uh three liter form uh we're still waiting for our, our back to the future um marty right are we still waiting for another Marty with a guitar? Yeah. Still to officially show up on the Funko shop and some of the other stuff. So there's still some that are kind of hiding out there. Um, will we ever see uh, our Velma? Velma? Will we I see Velma? So. That is the question. But I, I think this is definitely a good one. You don't need to get it at the con. It This is a Funko shop exclusive, I believe. Oh, I think I have it at yes. the end. Yeah. Which one? No, but, actually, was this box launch? Or the box launch? I think it's box launch. I think it was box launch. Now that you said that, I have it at the end. But I'll. Yeah, I'll look I, it I think this is a perfect pace. Like if if Funko is going to slow lunch. down and just give us like one or two sodas for the big cons, like I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm good with it. A couple baseball game exclusives in there as well. That's fine. And maybe yeah. a couple through the year. Yeah. We're still, you know, that Freddy's going to be coming in, uh, what, August? The new Aqua Socks Freddy? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a Webley, right? Webley or, yeah. yeah Webley, yeah. Webley. Who knows? They could throw a Freddy in there as well. All right. And two pack. We got two pack alert. It's super cute. I love this one. I, I like this cute. one. Don't love that it. Uh, I, I just don't love the two packs that much, but I think this is a super great pop. Like if you're a Disney collector, we'll probably get it. Yeah, this is nice. I want to see what this looks like inside the box, but I think we'll pass on it. I don't see us. We don't really collect Toy Story or anything out we of the Disney do. line. We're kind of limited on Toy Story, but we do keep most. I mean, it's fun. It looks good. It's different. At least, you know, it's not the same old, same old mold. So, and it's a good two pack because do they have a Buzz and Woody two pack? I don't know. No, I don't think they did that any. vinyl two pack. Yeah, the vinyl two pack, but not yeah. actual pop two pack. I don't think right? they've ever done a pop two pack, no. So, good stuff with that. Um, this yeah. a must. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is awesome. I'll be, I'll be honest. I kind of want the con sticker of this one. If I find it, if somebody, I'm going to go stand by the Funko booth on Friday when we're there, and I'm going to see if I can buy one from somebody for double the price. I'm going to just see if I can get one for 30 bucks. Here's 30 cash right here. And, I think and that this one's cool. I like the out. black and red sticker. I, I do fine. like this con sticker too. I'm still a sticker collector. So this is one I'd like to get the con sticker of at some point, and preferably while we're there. 
Oh, Hunter made a good point. Yeah, they made the OG uh, Woody and Buzz like the mini two pack. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the mini one. one. Yes, yeah, I love those mini ones. I, I you don't see them enough. You no, know? you don't. They didn't make very many. They didn't very make very many, and they're very expensive. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. those. Those are great. I think I did a couple of mystery boxes. I had them in just because I'd like to get them one day. Oh, here we go. What's that show? <laughs> What's that show? We'll, hang, we'll hang out. out. We can hang out and try to set up. Get... Set up your own little like you need a, your own little pop up table. So you can we'll go. be the opposite. You know, you see the flippers at the end of the thing that <laughs> set up their stuff. I'm going to be the one purchasing. I'll, I'll have you guys, written you on guys my just iron diehard fans. That's it. Like you gotta, you need to collect longer and and know more about Funko to get into I, these booths. Come on. Or I guess you have to buy the tickets before like the last minute. I didn't before realize. That. I should have read that. I mean, yeah, that I, I think also like at least this one you should be able to grab pretty easily anywhere. It, it is a Funko Shop exclusive, but I think they'll have plenty of them. Um, but you never know. Maybe they'll change that. We, we haven't. Yeah, you know, no, that, that would figure, would it not? But this this one definitely is a must. Uh, it would go great with my little shelf with all my Iron Man stuff and that. So, I've got so Blenda with Iron Man too. And uh, I'll pass. Pass yeah. for me. Pass. Definitely pass. <laughs> I'm not a huge pass. And this is Iron with. Man. Target, which is like, does Target just love Green Lantern? Is that it? Like, Target gets all the Green yeah, Lanterns. Yeah, they just had the Red Lantern. Yeah, they get they get all the lanterns. Maybe, maybe they like the lanterns. I don't know. So, uh, definitely a pass. I don't think. A, I don't think this one will be hard to get. That's all no. I can say. Hey guys, I, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Okay. No problem. Well, uh, sorry to the chat. I got to take off. I'm so sorry, guys. No problem. All right. So, yeah, we got a. This one is a must for me. This is, I it's thought cute. this was. This is a perfect con pop. I love con pops that do this. So, yes. uh, for, of course, I'm a big Simpsons fan. Um, definitely a must for uh, my collection. But also, it, I love it because it's unique hasn't been done before it reminds me of like comic book guy like it took forever to get comic book guy mm -hmm. finally at a con uh poochie is a definitely unique one a fun one i i think this one will do well i don't know if it'll sell out well but it'll do well i think it's all um, gonna depend you know like it depends on are they gonna go back to like i feel like sdcc not that it was super like strong with all the pops, but I feel like they just had to make so many for yeah. some of the stuff. Some of the stuff was good that didn't sell out. Like if this one, I feel like will it sell out? Maybe, maybe not. Like, but I think this is a. I think it's a great one. If you collect anything Simpsons, I don't know how yeah. you don't add this one. And it's such a fun. I mean, I I just love like Simpsons has so many characters they still haven't touched or did or different things so it simpsons line can go on forever i mean that that is definitely yeah you yeah. know one of those that can they could keep making pops and i love if they keep making especially con pops like kind of roll them out um as we go along yeah so, this is yeah, a perfect one uh this one's cute i like it but i don't think i'll grab it but i like it i like it yeah we haven't yeah. kept any of the i do lo i love this one but yeah, I don't think we'd pick it up because we have not kept any of the Kung Fu Panda stuff. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing for me. It's like it just doesn't fit our collection. I know we've gotten some of the stuff over the years, and uh, I don't know if I might have kept one or two. Maybe they're in storage or something like that. Like as we yeah. go through our storage in the next over the next month, we've been, we're starting to go through a bunch of storage pops that we had, and we'll have some surprises. But this one is definitely cute. Um, I agree. Anna missed the opportunity to be flocked for a con pop. Yeah. yeah. Do we have a flocked Poe as of yet? I don't believe so, but I don't Number know. One. But it could be wrong because there's so many, there's quite a few Poes out there. I will say that there's some, there's some good ones, but yeah, I, yeah. I def, definitely a new movie coming out. So 
that'll be uh, along with that. So good timing. You need yeah, Jack yeah. Black to be signing there. That's all you need. Is... Good, timing. good timing, and uh, that's it's good to see good timing. All right. Uh, uh, this is a must that... for me. Yeah. Uh, it, I can pass on this. I mean, we collect all Looney Tunes. I, it, I know. I like that they do. You know, I'd rather see these. You know, I've kind of said it before. Like, when we had a good, like, original release, I think back in maybe 2017, we got some more in 2019. Yeah. And then they kind of stopped. Like, we didn't get any Looney Tunes. Then we got one last year. We got uh, Yosemite Sam as the night, I think it was. Maybe it was MYCC. Maybe it was two years ago. I can't remember now. But now we get this one. We got the NFTs. Like I like how this set is coming together. So for, for me, I love this. Like it, I mean, maybe not for all Looney Tunes people, but or if you are a Looney wear, Tunes person, does he I think wear Waldo? Does he wears Waldo. Is that what he's supposed to be? No, he's. He you, looks you like wears Waldo. Guy? No, but look, he looks like where. Oh, yeah, Waldo. he does look Maybe. like Waldo. Yeah, he looks like Waldo. I agree like with Waldo. you. Waldo, I was like, is he supposed to be where is Waldo? Like, I don't think he's cosplaying, but I, I mean, yeah, maybe he is. Maybe he is. I don't know. So there was a flock po from Entertainment Earth in 2015. So that's how long, <laughs> ten like nine year old pop. So that's why you probably don't see it that often. Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> Big old, big old Pokemon. We got, we get um now like we just got one from Target Con. We got what Umbreon. Uh, you know what? Though they have a lot of they're cool. A lot of ten inch Pokemon pops. There are, and I think it's fine. A lot of people have favorite ones, or people just grab these and that's it. They look good out of box. Like these are not ones you keep in box. No, I no. Think most people take these out. I know. Uh, you know, we have a couple of them. That's keep out of box like Pikachu and, and stuff like that. So nice, nice. Yeah. This will probably Strange. sell out, I'm guessing. I think you're probably yeah. right. Luffy sold out pretty quickly. I'd say Shanks would be right behind that. This is a Funko Shop exclusive. Yeah. It's gonna sell it's probably gonna be the first thing to sell out, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure Luffy was as well last year. Yeah, I think a lot of people it's going to sell out. Is there a lot of people going after this one in our chat? You know how many people, like, I said, but I saw the comment earlier. I don't think anime is weird. I think that anime collectors are weird. See? Big difference. I think you know we have a very small anime collection. Like we, we I, decided, listen, I decided we decided to move from my hero. We have like my hero signed by ones. Like we decided not to do like the whole my hero line because they got too big. And that yeah, was like Jack, the first. Jack anime had a ton of them. Super big. Yeah, um, I do have all the One Piece, uh, the not One Piece, but the One Punch Man pops. Oh yeah, that well that well, is. Not it's a small big. line. It's nice. Yeah. It's, it it could be a big line. So uh, I I don't think I would stick with it if it got any bigger. But like I, Naruto I over the last cars. couple of years went crazy. Yeah. Now uh, One Piece has gone crazy. But I I've kept I have our whole One Piece collection at this point. I do have the uh, I actually have the uh, the Luffy wanted poster. So I'll probably try to get the Shanks one. Yeah. Why not? Anime Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh is pretty. It's been growing, and they've been adding stuff to Yu-Gi-Oh line too. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh has yeah. been for sure. It's gonna be uh, what is this? Madra, Madra. I think. This is yeah, yeah. Madra. Uh, I don't know enough about Naruto to really comment. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be one that people want gonna do decent but i don't know about a sellout sellout but it's gonna be decent because we have the other what, what's the one that looks kind of like this is it kyogi i don't even know if i'm saying that right i'm doing it off of memory right now but i don't know 
I'll, I'll pass on it because I yeah. don't like Naruto. Naruto, Naruto, and my hero. I like. Oops, too much class. But uh, my hero, oh, man, they just been cranking out my hero pops like. Crazy. This is Miro, right? Togata. This, this is yeah. This is um, but they've been cranking them out like crazy. Yeah. I feel like like they didn't just it too many, too many. Of some of the different ones, they had some really cool ones. They did some really cool stuff with them, and then they just went nuts with them. Well, you get multiple. You know what I mean when you start getting multiples and multiples of yeah. the characters. You know, like Bleach is kind of like that. Look at me pulling all this anime stuff out. Like I seen the Ichigo, and I think they just released another Ichigo that has a chase or something like that. But they just had the what the Texas Smash All Might that came out on the Funko Shop, and it's still there. Yeah, I saw yeah. It today it, it, you know it's kind of like I think I think people are just kind of burnt out a little bit now. If this had a chase, it would be a different story. Yeah, and like I earlier, I think chase, it's, it's a different it's story. Trying to get that chase because people just you know. I mean, I really don't know why they wouldn't do a chase with these. Like, have they done chases with with pop, con pops though? Like, how do you do that in the booth? Not recently. Yeah, I, 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 if I, rem, I mean, it, yeah, not anything that I can remember recently. Let's put it that way. Yeah, because it would be really hard in the booth to deal with that. So, um, I, Dragon Ball. I kind of like this one. I like, I like the little cat. <laughs> I told Bree the same thing. Like, I go, I might buy this one. I like the way it looked in the box. I think I saw yeah. the glam, the a glam shot of it in the box. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of love that cat. I, I feel like in the box, I think it was shifted up. So it was like above the sticker too. Mm. Why did I feel like it's, I think I saw it and I kind of like it. I feel like they've been, uh, yeah, that they, they, they put out some of these got out leaked at WonderCon, right? Like people were buying a couple of the, the pops that were supposed to be for CTV. Is that where we saw them? Yeah, maybe that's where we saw them from. So you might have seen them at a WonderCon stuff because there was a, there was at least three or four of them that got leaked. I don't know what retailer. I'm guessing not the Funko Shop one. So I'm guessing, but not, no, it was because it was the oh, it's the other one that's the other one that I think it's coming up. I think it might be next actually. Let's see. No, never mind. It was a different one. Um, but these three thousand piece, all all three of them, right? I like the sticker too. <laughs> it's interesting though. Do you think one will? Do you think Franny will sell out before Freddy? Man, or Freddy? I don't know. Do you think because it's the first Franny, she'll sell out first, or will <sighs> Freddy sell out? You know, that's yeah. a good question. I I don't know. Like, if I had a choice. I'd probably take Freddie. I'd like to. We're gonna have to get John's opinion on on these next week. Yeah. I personally, I probably wouldn't go after any of them. Oh, Even well, the if, first, first, if they were a three pack all together, I might actually. Yeah, if it was a three those, pack, I'd be more apt I don't to want but, all three separate different ones, and they're probably not. Even, they're probably only gonna be at the con. I, I doubt if they're gonna have any online. It's gonna be maybe five hundred of them or something. They're gonna. They're gonna sell out quick. Yeah, and I yeah. I don't know. I I don't know if I'll even try to get these or not because, and I'll be honest. I, the the reason why, and I think it's because of where I'm at, kind of in the collecting spectrum or in the collecting journey part of it. Like if I if I was a newer Freddy collector, I would be a thousand percent down with this. Like if I could get one of these for retail, like I would love to add a three thousand piece. The 3,000 piece to me at this point, and I, I'm sounding like a Freddy snob. I can't believe what I'm saying. Like, I, I do sound like a Freddy snob right now. It's not. But like, yeah. I've gotten rid of some of our 3,000 piece ones, not for necessarily lower piece counts or something like that, but like for different ones that I really love. And not that I don't like these, I just don't know if I love these that I would like buy them for the collection. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'd rather just somebody else try to get these and if somebody else is going to care it's just you know the way i look at some of the stuff i won't go after stuff that i know won't make the cut in the collection at some point if i know that i'm going to get rid of it eventually uh, and right now these stickers are show sticker only right now 
the ones yes, they're yeah. showing at least. So we might not even see any online unless they still have some left or something. And I doubt they'll have any left because they still put them out and then people grab them unless they put a small number online. But right yeah, now the is. sticker they're showing is is uh, show only. I think these are definitely, yeah, these will definitely sell out. No problem. And I think people, I think, I think that these are, I see people putting generic and I don't, I mean, I, I don't a hundred percent disagree with that. It's, a, it, it feels more like, um, I mean, we've gotten some other ones. There's, there's been limited piece, uh, Con yeah. like this that are similar in numbers. Like I'm thinking about the fish one that I have, the one yeah. when it was out in, uh, I think it was for ECCC. ECCC, yeah. The shared and they did one. The, uh, the, the two different like the fish, color pants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got the two color pants. Both had a different uh, number on those. I kind of love that one. This one's a little bit more basic, but I still think these are cool. It goes with the theme really well. I see. Uh, I say don't pay more than 30 bucks each for these, though. But, yeah, no, I don't think I would. Like yeah. $30, $40 max. I, like if someone's paying sixty to a hundred dollars for these when they drop, you're going to be very disappointed in a couple months because they're yeah, going yeah. to be going for thirty to forty dollars. Yeah, I yeah. could see this being like a forty to fifty dollar Freddy at some point. But I'm thinking, like, will Franny be that? Will Proto be? I don't see them be like you. You could look at some of the other ones that were out for like the cons and stuff. I don't. I don't know if you're going to see the, even the 3000 piece Freddy. It's not a character Freddy. It's just well, the generic well, Freddy. So I think that's exactly what it is. I think that now like a 3000 piece Freddy is not the same as, you know, five years ago, not even five years ago. Let's go three years ago, a 3000 piece Freddy three years ago. You're talking a hundred dollars all day long and some of them well North of that. But if you get really good, uh, Freddy's, and I'm, what yeah, I'm saying, like, Freddy really has Wolverine. It's, right, it's or like, even the, like Pennywise, I want to say Pennywise, yeah. the first Pennywise was a, a 3,000 piece, if I'm remembering co correctly, and that's always so sold north of $250, $200, even with the amount of fakes that there are of that pop, so, like, if it's a collectible character, but when you get, like, the, you know, a, a pilot, or, you know, some kind of you know a little I think more they all, all should have been pilots though or something i don't know. Bree said the same thing and I, I don't disagree with her and you i'm not that kind of person that says they probably should have just all been pilots it would have left a little less not that i see that big of an uproar about it but i don't know yeah i mean I, that, it's uh, that's one of those that yeah I, you're probably right All right, so that's where. So we're only. It's hard to see this, but there's a shirt that is exclusive too, as well. Um, there also, um, there is no hot topic exclusive this year. No, that's I think the first in a while. Not seen a hot topic exclusive. Uh, a lot of Funko Shop, only one GameStop, only two Target. Box so this reminds me a lot of WonderCon. Like yeah. the number yeah. of things that are offered here remind me of what they would offer at WonderCon. So I think it was just like, hey, I, is this a better con for us? I think maybe they I think got it was a good idea on their part to come, you know, a little further east. I really think it's a great idea to, have, you know, you got one in New York, one in Chicago, you got yeah. your San Diego out west. I, you know, I think it's a great idea because. There's a lot of people that, you know, can't even make the like New York is not easily attainable. Not that Chicago is like way less expensive or anything like that, but like the cost to, to get to them, uh, you know, to have something in the Midwest, I think is fantastic. Yeah. And I'm, I'm super excited that they, uh, they chose that route. Yeah. I, I think, I think this will be good. Um, I, I like, I hope that we see that it's, sucks that the shirt is only con only though like show only yeah, yeah. and you notice that's the only thing that says show only so that means those three thousand piece pops it says won't be show com. only yeah yeah so yeah. there's only one thing which is a shirt which is super strange to be it is only. why why would they limit themselves like that i mean unless it's a limited oh. shirt throw them up on the website 
like maybe if it came with the Franny Pop and it was the first Franny shirt, like shirt combo, I would have like been good. But yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, C two E two. Uh, what do you, what is everyone's favorite from this? Let us know. I see a couple, Iron Man, Poe, Jimmy. Yeah, I I think I have it's, one, it's... two, three, four. I have like maybe four, mu- like three three must. I think I would grab three. I think three things would be a must for us. Extra, maybe some other things would be extra, but. If if I only had to grab three things, I would I would be fine. I would grab Iron Man, Poochie, and probably Jiminy Cricket soda. Yeah, and I would yeah, grab yeah. Tweety. I'm calling him Tweety. I, it's not. I know it's not Tweety, but I I grab Tweety, Iron Man, and Jiminy would be my three. Yeah, Poochie would be like three B, three B. And then and that might be know, all that we grab, honestly. That might be. I got the uh, Freddy. The I would get the Freddy, you know, but I'm not going to go crazy for it. Um, those kind of things, you know. But yeah, there's a lot of people. I think I see Iron Man. I see a lot of Iron Mans. Like, no matter uh, what, Iron Man, people, I, feel like... I think Iron Man I will be the surprise one because almost everyone has some kind of almost Iron Man in there, other than, you know, you know what I love yeah. about uh, the Tony Stark too? I love that it's not tied to a movie. Yeah. Go back to I, I like when they just release those the Marvel they stuff do. every once in a while. Uh, it looks cool. I I wish uh, I don't think this had the glam shots with it. I wish they already had the box glam shot art. Sometimes sometimes that, that makes I, or breaks the box too. This was shown in the box at some point. I've seen it on one of the, the somewhere. But it was like a side view of it. But I love that yeah. it's kind of metallic too. I think I think it looks good. It looks really good. I have uh like the Lego with the um the Hall of Armor kind of thing going on. Yeah. And like Iron Man's around it and some and my Iron Man sodas and stuff out. So this will look really good with that whole setup. Like yeah, that's if I what ever I show my for. office off, I've got a whole section just for Iron Man. Iron Man's definitely one of my one of my favorites there. I mean, yep, yep, me too. Uh, from the Marvel Marvel Universe. Uh, let's see. I was seeing if I saw the box because it might have been from. <laughs> uh, yeah, someone already someone already had it. So here, I'll yeah, show this yeah. one. Someone I don't know who had it, but uh, I actually seen it in the box. I thought it, I when I seen the the. The actual front shot of it, it looked even cooler. Yeah, that looks good. But yeah, look at how good that looks, even with that sticker. That's why I was saying the con sticker, right? Just because the box is already like black and red and I don't know. Nope. I love this whole thing. I, yeah, this is definitely going to be one of those that everybody wants, I think. So who stole these, you know? Like, <laughs> how they get these in their hands here? I see some other pops underneath, but... uh this one definitely is uh, one of those. I think, yeah. Here we go. There you go. There's the. Oh yeah, I did yeah. see this. Yeah, see, I did see. Robe, Robe and Karen, Karen, Karen. I don't know the Dragon Ball Z. I character. love when they get position it in the box. Like it, it's just that next level of thinking. You know what I mean? You're not hiding that cute little cat behind the sticker. Yep, you, you could have lost them behind the sticker. Yeah. yeah. Stuff like that. So I think that was. I think that might have been. Oh, there we go. We didn't that really talk about Caesar. That's one I, for some reason, didn't have up there. But Caesar was one that was for sale at WonderCon. People a lot of had people, it. Like there a lot of people it, right? talking about this one, too. Oh, I think a lot of people will like them. A Funko Shop only, too, for sale at WonderCon. So how are these? Like, are, are there some overseas thing? Like who are getting these? Somebody oh, out right there. Door. That's it. That's from WonderCon. There, right there. It looks good. It looks like a really good pop. But uh, I'm gonna have to grab that one too. Squirrel that thing away with the rest of my One Piece right now. Yeah, uh, it's a good time to good time for some One Piece going on. A lot, of, a lot of. Stuff at one point will one will one piece become too much? I wonder, like, at what point, 
Oh yeah, uh, Jeff, one hundred percent it will. You you already you already know the answer to that question. I listen. I mean, it's just I, like, like Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball was the hot thing for a long time. For a then, very like, long time. People just I think got it to a point where they had it, and then now they're like, okay. I, like, I mean, Naruto has gotten that way. Like, Na- Naruto was a nice, manageable set. Luca collected all of them. Now, like, yeah. we're at a point, like, we can't even, we can't even get, like, now he's not into Naruto as much as he used to be either. But, I mean, on top of that, they just released another wave of those. Like, you're getting five, six commons along. I mean, we, we're we talking, that set at this point has got to be over 50 pops. It's got to be over 50 pops at this point. Maybe well over that. Like that's just one, you know, just one show. Then if you're a One Piece collector, I mean, One Piece has grown by two or three times over this last, you know, year and a half or so. So, John so yeah, and- it, they definitely will. They'll definitely make a lot because I think so they already kind of have. We had our first, uh, and we had our second series two, our series two of. April Fools ones. They were legit. They didn't try to fool us. It's April Fools one. Uh, what's that? Just five? You so I just I did decide to open them because I saw the the price went to kind of normalize. Yes. It's like eh, it's more fun to open them. So we got four um, packs, and I I think we're gonna open them. I gotta decide. I still haven't decided yeah. if we're gonna open them yet or not. You know what? I, I'd go for it because I it, think we're it's gonna. a small set. So if you want to get at least the proto, um, it it'll be a pretty affordable one to get. And then uh, I did hit one of the these. I did hit one of the redeemables, so I'm happy. I probably hit one of my favorite ones here, so I was glad about that. Um, I, I don't know. I I can't decide. I haven't decided if I want to buy one or two more. I think they were cheaper on. Atomic Hub than they were on Drop, I believe, for packs at least. Like for the the packs, they might have been cheaper on Atomic Hub. I can't, right now they're going for I think thirty four dollars, which isn't that far above. No, um, no. By the time you pay the fees and stuff, you're almost yeah. yeah. So it's not bad uh, at all. No, uh, and you know the Star Wars is still of course out there. I did. I did end up going back and getting a couple more Star Wars even after my terrible packs. Um, so yeah, I didn't. I, I went and got two more. I was like, I'll get two more. That's it. Because they were almost retail, like pretty much. It was like, it was retail, I think. So I was like, I'll get two more and then I'll get, and then I'll buy the legendaries that, that I want, you know, out of the ones that I want if I don't pull anything. But I got lucky. I pulled Darth Vader. I pulled out Which of the two. It's probably the best uh best yeah. out of the bunch. Best one to pull out of the bunch, most expensive one at least yeah. if I wanted to get him. Um so other than I was hope, you know, I really wanted to play it for the chance at maybe the Grail because the Grail is one that it's it's going for only like 140 right now, which isn't too bad really no, for a, a less uh, it's going to be will it be less than a thousand piece once it's once they actually figure out they, the number, did they up that one though? Like, what was it up to? It was up to uh, was, was it, was it 1980. 1980 or 1980 based on 1980, 1980 based on the movie? Yeah, so that's a lot. Like, is it gonna be we under got rid 1, of 40? We got rid of 40 percent of them, right? You're still talking probably 11, 1200 piece pop, yeah. But still, for a Star Wars, first that's what I'm saying. For a Star Wars, I mean, look at some of the real limited. You know, again, this is maybe a you know thousand piece Star Wars is over a hundred dollars any day. Yeah, easily, you know? easily. So. And I, th- I think at one hundred and forty dollars, you're you're good. I you know, I figured it would have. I honestly thought it would be closer to two. I really thought it'd be closer to two. Uh, will it get to two? You know, probably not. Uh, while it's on the drop market. Because if you look at like the mini, the like I'll go back to the mini uh, and Mickey, Mickey and Friends set. Mini is still, for the most part, selling for under two hundred dollars, which is astonishing to me. Because that and mini, you only have a few days left if you want to get anything from that set. It's going to be about a four hundred and seventy piece or a four hundred and sixty piece pop, which is the one of the rarest Disney pops ever made, ever. And you'll have to. The bad part about it though is like. 
to go through and get the money that you need to go into USDC to transfer it. You might not even have the time to do that. No, you already had the, no, yeah, you're too late now. If you try to anywhere from five to 10 days, sometimes to get the money into your like Robin hood account or whatever, and then transfer it into another, the transfer to USD. It's, it's such a pain. Yeah, it gets complicated. There's actually like on Coinbase, you're able to do it after your first initial waiting period. You can do it instantaneously, but man, they get you on the fees. If you do it at the wrong time of day, they'll they'll charge $20 or $25 if you're doing it at the wrong time of day. If you're smart and kind of look and like if you do it really early in the morning, you could save a ton of fees. I know we're only probably talking to like three people right now when we talk USDC. But well, it's good information, you know, pain. if you want to oh, yeah. if you, get you into that a little ahead. bit more. If, if it's a drop exclusive and you're thinking about you want to buy anything on the aftermarket, be set up ahead of two time. Two weeks ahead. Yes. Two weeks ahead. Like the Star Wars stuff, if you think you're going to wait till like towards the end and you're back and forth on buying something or not, be two weeks ahead. That's all I can say. I still, you know what? I might grab one more mini. I might do it. You should. You should. It's, I mean, it's ridiculous. I, I have two right now. Yeah. I might get a third. It's it's crazy how how cheap they're going. And you know, now, I saw some money. of the, the legendaries know. have gone up a decent amount, though. What yeah, they they've were. been creeping up. They've been creeping up more. Like, I wish I got them, like, a couple weeks ago, actually, if I was going to get any. I, I bought some packs. I think I might just finish my, for my royalty. I don't know if I'll get anything else. I think, you know. I had some thinking about getting a third royalty set, but I don't know if I want to go down that road. I have two royal. We got two of everything right now. Yeah, that's nice. It's good. Which is the most we've ever gone after any set, and really, it's because of the. I think people are. I see David. See David knows about, and I'm not. You know, there are definitely people that are in the chat right now that I think have a good understanding, but I think a lot of times it's just. Um, there, there's a lot to, to understand and to figure out and to and they and change it all the kind time. of the turn off with with a lot of people like these companies change that do it and switch and switch who they take and provide and and they're all almost all overseas so it's all like yeah even all over the place yeah, you're right um so we're missing slap shot pops but we got slap shot pops right here we got a slap shot pop right here uh so uh, we know who's going to get these ones for sure. Um, you know, so. good old Reggie Dunlop and the Hanson brothers. Like this is, this is absolutely fantastic. And this only should come as a three pack. So I love the way that they did that. Yeah, They did a great job with doing a three pack on this one. So and I don't buy a lot of three packs, but this could be one that I'm going to have to pick up. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and a good old and... Paul Newman, Reggie Dunlop. Like that is pretty sweet. Reggie, it, it kind of, I mean, this is a slap shot pops pop right here. It's like John, when he gets a little older. Yeah. Kind of like that. My age. Yeah. That's John. That's going to be John. Um, have they not like, I don't remember doom patrol pops for some reason. I watched a lot of the series and then it just got too weird. What is and doom patrol? Like, I honestly doom patrol is DC. It's on HBO Max. It's actually, really? I think you'd like it. I think if you watch, Brendan Fraser is a uh, um, robot man. His Get voice. Out of here. Really? Yeah. So I think you'd like this series, Vince, if you watch yeah, it. I, it just, at, like any series, you know, after so many seasons, the story might get like This really has been weird. on for like a long time? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, get out of here. I had not a clue. So HBO Max, go on there, watch some Doom Patrol. You'll like the first couple seasons, I think. Okay, well, sure. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Now you have something to binge watch. On that. Perfect, because uh, I got Green caught might, up on Green might need to like it. I don't know, but it, it's kind of like weird humor. It's, it's you know, sci-fi. It's definitely like DC superheroes, but not your traditional superhero type stuff, you know. So it, it's it, you'll like it. I mean, Peacemaker was a good show. I, a I don't think that this really is going to be anything like Peacemaker, but I'm just saying. Yeah. 
Peacemaker was really good. I like Peacemaker I, a lot. Yeah, I love Peacemaker. You know, it's sad that almost mo- almost all the DC TV shows are better than the DC movies. <laughs> um, at least in the last 15, 20 years, it seems like. Because, um, you know, when Flash was out, it was a great TV show. There are so many great, great DC TV shows that have been out. Um, but, yeah, this one is this one you'd like. I'm going to have to check it out. But I don't remember pops from this, so I can't believe this is the first round of these pops. It's got to be. I mean... All right, we got lots of anime, lots of crazy-looking anime, Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I love that moment. That moment looks really good. Yeah, with with the fire. Fire. Yeah, I do not know who this guy is that has his tongue out. That has a big, I don't know. What? I, I, I gotta don't love know. it. Yeah, I, I have not watched this at all, so I have no clue about Full Metal Alchemist. Like, it was very small groups of pops. I, I do remember the robot with a bunch of kitties. <laughs> the pop with the robot with a bunch of cats. Do you remember the cat? Yeah, oh, Alphonse. Yeah. I Alphonse, do remember that. Yeah. I, I remember that we pulled two or three mystery boxes, and pretty much every one of them had it, one of his spikes sticking through the side of the box. Because <laughs> it weighed like 20 pounds, and yeah, it was super it was all spiky. Yeah, yeah I, I can't add too much. These are definitely out of my realm of expertise. All right, recap for Stephanie. Hey, oh, yes, Stephanie, we are going to be, yeah, and for everybody, we're going to be out there on Friday, C2E2. If you guys are going, find us, please say hi, because honestly, that's the biggest reason we're going out there is to meet anybody that's going to be out there and get to see the uh, get to see the lay of the land over there. I'm looking forward to it. And we're Friday flying in, in the morning. Ago. I think we got a 7.30 a.m. flight flying in in the morning, staying for the day, and we fly out at 7.30 at night. So, like, because we got a dance weekend and a soccer weekend. That Ooh. same for Saturday and Sunday. That's why we're only going in for Friday. But, yeah, come find us if you guys are going. I did that once. I would did that, like, day flight to New York City. Like, New York City in the day went to go get my Google Glass. That's when that came out, the Google Glass. The only way you did it was picking it up. So I got picked for that. Flew in there in New York City one day because I didn't want to stay in a hotel and spend, you know, New York City hotels are expensive. Yeah. You know, there's no cheap way about it. I didn't know anyone that lived in the city at the time or anything like that. So I was like, I'll I'll go fly in, get them, walk around for a while and everything, check out you know, a couple things. Been in New York before, so it wasn't... And I was like, I'll fly out that night, fly back to Orlando. <laughs> Did yeah, it. It's not, it's, I mean, for us especially. I mean, Chicago for us, it's like an hour flight. Yeah, that's like a nothing flight. Yeah. 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 It'll take you probably longer to get through, like, all the stuff in the airport than it will. Oh, for sure. And, yeah, just driving to the airport. Uh, another one piece. We got... Luffy. Luffy, uppercut Luffy, uppercut Luffy, and that the name of it. I think that's what I saw people posting at least. But he is doing like a little one. there. Kind of looks like he's trying to fly like Superman or something too. I don't know. Go with that. All right, so we got a new Freddy, another new Freddy. Uh, I I was wondering why haven't they made really an Earth Day Freddy in a Earth Day box? Um, I, I see now this I like this is nice and unique you know what I mean nice and unique it's not crazy I also love this is the first one I've seen where they actually did the insert as like total biodegradable biodegradable recyclable like this whole thing this is how they should do more pops truthfully like they, they really need to get to that point where they're a little sustainable. I know Lego has tried to move that way too a little more because, you know, Legos will not, like, nothing will happen to Legos in 5,000 years. They'll still step on a Lego um, later on. But, you know, yeah. that idea is, like, this this Freddy is such a good one. I, I was putting stuff in my cart today. I haven't checked out yet. I kept, like, just trying to decide, do I want to check out? Do I want to get it? So we have, what, to the 14th. 
So you have a little while. I was going to wait to see if anything also went on sale at the same time they have this out, uh, just in case. But I have a couple things in my cart I was going to check out with, if nothing else. Yeah, somebody was actually very generous that from Australia uh, that sent over money so we could buy pops and enough to uh get this farmer freddy for the charity auction so uh, that was that was super cool great way to do it if uh you know for for somebody from us and you know so we're gonna have one of these up for auction in the uh for the charity auction i think i think that's a good one i hope you yeah know, I, I love this one I ha we haven't seen any other earth day ones right like anything else for Earth Day coming out yet no like, Usually it's Walmart. Usually Walmart's the Walmart, one that gets for a lot. Box lunch would do the Wallies and stuff yes, like that. Too. They had uh, Gandalf, I think, one year. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see if anything else. But I like this Freddy. Fifty dollars. Too bad fifty dollars didn't get you free shipping anymore. You had to pay sixty five now. Yeah. yeah. This would have been perfect with the fifty dollars. And at least you don't have to buy a mystery box of stuff. No, Just I prefer I prefer it this way. Let yeah. us pick what our mystery box is gonna. You know what I mean? You get yeah. what you want, and then you get a, a super cool pop like this. I think this is this is great. I was thinking about buying some pops that have chases and trying to chance at a chase. You know, yeah, find a couple different fun. pops that have a chance at a chase, and then get this guy for free. I've done yeah. awful trying to do that, especially over the last like three years or so. I I don't you know the sodas unless there was a new soda on there like. If if Maui popped on there, that'd be perfect, you know. Buy, yeah, buy Maui two Maui's, get buy two Maui's, get him for free, you know, something like that. That'd be fantastic. A lot of people like this one, though. Yeah. I wonder. Yeah, I'm trying to. They did Captain Planet last year, right? Captain Planet was No, I don't no. think he was an Earth Day one. No. I, I thought, or maybe one's coming, then. I, maybe there is still a Captain Planet coming. I, I thought there was. Now I didn't. Now Stephanie brings this up. Uh, I don't like how they did that. Like pre. No, who would was. who would like that? That it's uh, kind of yeah. I don't like that either. But you know what? I don't mind it either because I I think I definitely you get got good the value money back with those. And the value back. Yeah. Um, I think if you want to get the Venom Pop, still get it on there and soon because it will go away. I think eventually it, they're only going to have so many out there. So I think someone had pulled up and it was like 2000 or something left, which isn't that many for a $15 pop no. right now. PPG is about 35. It probably once they sell out, will stay at that $30 round. Cause it's a cool pop. So yeah. And I, don't, I don't disagree. I mean, that's why I don't think they've done the biodegradable ones. I like it for this. I'm okay with them. Like, I get it. You're cutting off half the pop. And these, they're not technically supposed to stay in box. But yeah, I would say more people are in box collectors than out of box. But so I these inserts are not probably going to make sense for, but I, I don't, for me personally, I, it adds to the charm. I know that sounds weird and I'm a weirdo when it comes to some of this stuff. But I kind of like it because it kind of adds to the, the charm of the whole box, the green sticker, like, I think it's cool for this, but I, I, I agree think with you. I think it would be really awesome if the actual figure, too, was recyclable, whatever, like, this was made out of, this was made of all the pops we threw in the, the dump. Last now we're year. getting crazy. Now you're getting absolutely nuts, but I, I love it. The crazier, the better. I mean, if they're going to do it, like, fully do, do it. it. Up. Like, go go into it, show that. Yeah, like, he's hey, recycled plastic bottles or something. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Old pops that we couldn't sell at five below <laughs> ever. Uh, yeah, and they're yeah. vinyl, so I don't, they probably are not recyclable or now, whatever. So I'm not a Hello Kitty fan, but these are kind of, these are kind of cool. I'm not, I'm I think, the, I Hello think Kitty that these collector. are, yeah, for so like fun. Halloween time, I think these are super yeah. cool. Weird time to come out. Um, for them and then the the odd the one out. wearing a thong or whatever he's got on over here odd one out yeah he is pretty odd crazy I and i kind of love it is is that a meme or is that a cartoon comic what game you know i don't like, have a clue but i kind of want to i kind of want to buy that one for some i don't <laughs> know why but i kind of do 
Like it, it like it, it's the only one of that like batch, right? Like I don't think I've ever seen another odd one. Yeah, out. never never heard of uh, it before. I don't know if it's just something we. we it's an animation. It's a. It is. It's an animation. So this is James from the odd ones out, but I I've never seen it. So who has seen the odd one out? Anyone here? Maybe we're just not the right demographic. Book? James is a YouTuber? YouTuber. But it says animation. So I don't know, but I'm going to be looking it up Comic later. Strip, on. Every everyone has different things. What they, <laughs> but it, but I could see it being some kind of mixture of stuff. Like, oh, it's a mixture. Yeah, I you know what? I think it. I think that. it is. I think it's really cool. I, I I like the giant mouth on it. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, some new WWE pops for those that are WWE collectors. NWO. Yeah. Remember NWO. Yeah. Razor Ramon there in the middle. Yeah. Hulk Hogan there. Eddie Guerrero. Is this our yeah. first? I Listen, I know we have uh, WWE people here. Eddie Guerrero. Is this the first Eddie Guerrero pop? That's not a ride. I know that there was a ride Eddie Guerrero. Almost Ooh. positive that there was, but did we there get a pop of another there? one? Yeah, this ha there has to be another one. Of them. There could yeah. be. Yeah, there could be. I'm not a huge collector, but I loved Eddie Guerrero back in the day. WrestleMania this weekend. I had no clue. Is it really this weekend? I haven't watched WrestleMania in probably like 25 years at least. Yeah, I... Yeah, it was probably actually around 2000 is when I I still watched quite a bit around the the Rock and uh, Stone Cold. Well, I, I remember I had friends. I was the WWF like back in the 80s. Friends that would chip in for the pay per view to buy it and pay for it. They're like, "Oh, we'll come over to your place because you got the big TV," and they'll they'll chip in the money to watch. <laughs> yeah, we I used to do that back in the day. You know, when you couldn't go now to like Sam's Club and get an 85 inch TV for under a thousand dollars, right? So. right. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, I think a lot of people, oh, there's a GameStop. I think I remember the GameStop exclusive okay. now. That's something, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, The Rock might make a comeback too. Man, I, I could see that. No, been he's like, been, he's been, yeah, he's been I in could a couple see now, a little, a little I'm more. Ah, uh, this will be an awesome three pack if this comes out. Pikachu, Pichu, and uh, Raichu. Like this three pack is going to sell out. It's going it to took be me a long pack. time to figure out that Pichu and Pikachu are not the same person. Oh, well, they evolve. Well, I mean, a little. Not like the, I, I they thought they were literally the exact like, same. Like at the same time. Now I understand that yeah. it's a, like an evolution. Oh, yeah. I didn't really understand the whole Pokemon thing like back when Armander to Charizard, you know, like little like all those. But this this is definitely if, if this is real legit. If it's coming soon, uh, it will sell out. It, it's good that they're doing three packs. It'll be cool to see more evolutions into like three packs. I mean, I it's think a great that... gateway for them to, you know, it's hard to keep on pumping out the Pokemon you know, because I mean, other than doing the flocked and the metallic and the this and the that, I mean, there's a million characters from what I understand. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, I think this is a great way you could do the evolution with all of them. Yeah. Yeah. So I think this would be really fun. It, it was teased for April Fool's. That's why I'm wondering if, if this is uh, uh, real or not. But it was, uh, it would be cool if this was real, this would do well. So. You know, sometimes they might just throw stuff out there to see what kind of reaction you get. I mean, I could easily see, I would see this that. being uh, real. So, yeah, definitely, definitely good one. All right. So, yeah, that was that was it for like what's coming up, I guess. For uh, what else? What else? Star Wars. Star Wars. The Star Wars stuff that just dropped yesterday. Did it drop yesterday? I think it was yesterday. And. We, you know what's funny about the Star Wars stuff? Some of the stuff, and maybe we'll go into it a little bit more when uh, John's here the next oh, week, too, because I know he's going to be super bummed that he's not getting to talk about this right now. But 
we just we just talked about this i think last week we said why have they not made a battle droid like i'm almost positive it was last week that we said that why have they not made a battle droid do you know how much we'd love a battle droid and then boom we get a battle droid the now with that being said i was kind of bummed they released this Watto. Do you see the Watto in the lower left-hand corner? Yeah. They did a Star Wars Celebration Watto, which is one of my favorite Star Wars pops. I have it on my shelf, and it's not super expensive either. No, no. It's like, not. why do another Watto? I don't know. And like Princess Aldi. Amidala, I get at least, because like the only other Princess Amidala that looks like this and with her full thing is super expensive. And it's, it's a, a deluxe. deluxe. Like, I thought that this was is a deluxe. This is yeah. like... We could have used this for the NFTs. We decided to use it for. Uh, it would have been better <laughs> than any of the. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Do we, do we need another Jar Jar carrying a fourth Jar Jar, 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 Jar Binks? No. Um, no. Battle Droid, yes. Battle, Battle Droid, one thousand percent. I I, uh, I genuinely love 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 that they did that. Annie, I don't know if we need Annie. Yeah, little Annie there. Um, I I, I don't know. It's probably like, all I'm picking up from this uh, round. Yeah, round, like the Darth Maul. People are mm -hmm. loving this though, and I, I'm excited for the people that are excited about it because Phantom Menace is like a huge. Like some people, like that's their movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People grew up with the Phantom Menace, and oh, like, yeah. this was their original trilogy. So I love that they're doing this, and I love that people are going to get some. Like, yeah, Jar Jar, like. We got it in the last year and a half. I'm not super yeah. excited by that. And I don't think even new collectors would be super excited by another Jar Jar because we got a couple already. But uh, Princess Amidala, the battle droid, the uh, Darth Maul on the uh, whatchamacall is a great. Yeah. I mean, there there's some good stuff, and even even Annie. I, I don't I, mean, I don't mind. I, I think it's okay, but yeah, Battle Droid I think is a good one out of set. Will there be any exclusives that we haven't seen too out of the set that could still come? I think that's a good possibility as well, too. Um, Watto bums me out though. Like when you have something special, keep it special. Like I I can't believe they did that, and it almost looks the exact same. And I'm not even saying this because of. It's not a value thing. Oh, we got John's comment right here. We I know. Him. That's why I was looking at who commented about his comment. So, John, see, glad to see Funko celebrating episode one's anniversary. That's good. Here. Uh, you know, uh, we got a slap shot fire. We finally have battle. We finally have a droid, battle droid. Finally have the battle droid. And then uh, we got, but you got to admit this lineup is kind of lacking. And yeah. Eh. Yeah, I don't a thousand percent disagree. So, so like I think how, it's good for if you're a new collector, you want to add something from like it's like I think it's fine if we're gonna get one or two that people that have been collecting for a long time are gonna want to add. Yeah. It's not I don't look at it as like a failure in any way. I think that it's fine with what they. But yeah, is it like doesn't blow me away necessarily. But I thought the Queen Amidala is a really good one. Battle Droid is like a no brainer. Need to add. Watto, I think, is great too. It, like I said, though, Watto is not super expensive, and you could get it with the uh, with the Disney, uh, the uh, Star Wars Celebration sticker on it and yeah. everything. And like that was a super cool release that they did back when. And but you know, I think that's a good pop too. So no, it's a, it's a fun it's a fun release. I yeah, I think it'll be a fun one. Um, I'll be curious, like if they make any other exclusives. Now, we did see this one as well too. This was a Target leak, so let me share this one. This one right here. So, so all these are Target exclusives. Yes. So they're, they're, so they're building onto that retro, that retro, retro one. look with the same pops. Now, it's kind of Queen Amidala is not uh, the same, right? No, it's not. Because the other one was a box. deluxe. Yeah, I think that that's super cool. I mean, Darth doesn't even look like I don't know. These don't look that retro. Like, like some of the retro ones are very retro, like from the comic books and things like that. These, 
these just i mean the black boxes look good on these especially yeah. the dark mall and the queen aladala like the red and the black boxes and the gold like those two look really good i think with these so we got a lot of star wars pops then coming out yeah because, but the number on this one is 699 i just saw this one though look so that is the exact same but why was this one? This so one's hitting stores though. already. So these are already hitting stores. Yeah. And then, but you see this one, but it's in a different box. So it's the same number. They, they yeah, they do that with the same you numbers. Like, like if you look at the, ones? if you look at um, yeah, actually the retros I'm not different. sure about. Yeah, I thought they were That's supposed a good to be point. different things. That's so weird, point. so strange. I don't get their numbering sometimes, but. Let's let's put it this way. Since we're seeing this Queen Amidala like this, yeah, are one of the exclusives going to maybe be Queen Amidala? Maybe, probably, maybe, maybe Metallic. I would think that would be the way to go. An okay, exclusive somewhere, go. glow yeah. in the dark, maybe, which makes no sense, but could it happen? Probably. Yeah, it's 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 always weird though. They don't they they don't look as different. So that's why I'm kind of like skeptical of them a little bit because they don't look yeah, the, as different as, as some of the other retros have looked. Yeah, like that the Emperor Palpatine I thought looked super cool. Like they had the black and purple in it. It's actually like the same mold as uh, what's in the NFT. Um, what were some of the other ones? C3PO they did. They did uh, they did Kenobi, the older version, yeah, did, which I think Scott, that looked cool too. Yeah, Scott I like Walker Kenobi. Was, was, okay. Yeah, stormtrooper. Dark. Yeah, there's actually there's a whole line Darth of those Vader. at this did point. We pull him recently, or did we? Did we pull him? Yeah, there's a Vader as well. I think we pulled him recently, for some reason. I think you did too. For I, like, I think I'm we pretty, pulled him. maybe I'm from Chal. Uh, we pulled him from Chalice. I remember that now. We did pull him from our correct. collectibles box. So we yeah, actually a video that came out yesterday for everyone. Yeah, I like the retro series. I think they're they're. I don't have enough room to display the retro series on top of everything else, but yeah. I didn't hate them. I there's a couple that I thought looked really good. Yeah, so it's cool to see them add on to them. But that, now you're getting your. An, I've never really understood the Jar Jar thing. I don't know. I I'm surprised that this many Jar Jars in this short of time. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Out. It's kind of like a lot. Weird. Seems like a good bit, but I think I think this is what we all will have to do. Um, you will have to buy a lot of battle droids because you need all the Roger Rogers to go together. I think you got to buy it. You know, I think yeah. you buy at least two. Yeah, I mean, I think you at least got to buy like a, a case of them. Six. You just buy a case. I don't know. I love. I love this. <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to. Uh, I and probably. I'm not. A, like I probably a, will get two or something like that <laughs> like all of them and some of them have like some like different like scuffing on them for where they're shot or something Actually, like this is, one has yeah, this is definitely one i would pick up and just pull, pull it out of the box i want to make one like really like beat up and one with like head off like on the side like have some fun with it yeah that would be a good one. i mean if they're all like common cheap you can grab them pretty cheap then it wouldn't be too bad no you can get them Find, find a deal, find some coupons. You can get a good deal on them and everything else. So I think that's going to be always good. Um, trying to think of anything else I missed. There wasn't anything today today that came out, right? No, oh, I yeah. think, you, you know, the, uh, the pre-whatever came out for the Project Fred. I don't think, you know. I, I brought that up, but did, I mean, is it just so up? Is that all it is? It's just what? up. It's up until the seventh, I believe. Like, I think we you have to like, last week. So. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing really. I don't think anybody's. Did anyone? Did, actually, that's a good point. Did anybody yeah. in the chat go after did, this? Is anyone really excited about this and go after it? We just we talked about it a lot last week, and none of us were really willing to put our dollars down for these. 
Like, no, I think maybe for the big boy one, we had one or two people in the chat that might have yeah. gone after it, including me, which I struck out. Now, with that being said, I got a much better chance at these, but I'm not going after either one of them. Yeah, Coca Cola and Sprite just they didn't really speak to me. No, like, uh, big boy. I mean, boy. if you're a Coke collector, the Coke one would be cool to go after. I think if you collect Coke's memorabilia at all. Yeah, I think it might be worth going after, especially with a chance at a chase. But for other than that, I don't know. I just, yeah, I don't see going after these. No, me neither. I mean, it wasn't. It definitely wasn't one. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this stuff. I'm, I'm hoping that somebody, you know, I, I want to see some pictures of them out and about. But um, yeah, it's not not anything I'm going to be looking to add. I wonder. I wonder how many people enter this time compared to uh, the last run. You know, I the first think it's run was down a lot. Uh, you know, how, especially. I think the hardest thing, and this was kind of with NFTs a little bit, but you know, the first NFTs excitement, and then you had you had the turtles, which brought a lot of excitement. But then you had one, like Big Boy. I don't think did as. Excited. No, they didn't do that good at all. I didn't even pick up any big boy ones back then. Yeah, so I think the the kind of the excitement changed a lot, but you still have three days to enter if you want this one. But how, like, it's just like the NFTs, like, no one's going to see them in hand. No one's going to see what they look like really in hand, unboxed. You know, those kind of things. So I think that kind of holds people back from buying something. I think it does. I think uh, I think that the, the Coke thing, I think there are enough people that go after that. Like, I almost bought Adidas shoes the other day, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. Yeah. Because it, not that I don't like Adidas. I like Adidas, too. I have many pairs of those. But, like, I almost bought it just for, for the heck of it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm yeah. a huge turtle guy. So, like, people that are in the coca-cola and that you know there are huge collections with that kind of thing so i think you're going to get some crossover but the same as the first one that's a freddy more of a freddy mm -hmm. than these are <clears throat> you know like these are freddy shaped but they're they're not freddy if you know what i'm saying so yeah i mean i can't imagine there's gonna be and they're doing two at the same time that's that's another thing like now you're asking uh it's a bigger ask i think too so We'll see, though. I'll be curious to see how that plays out. Yeah. Um, th so there is some stuff coming up. Uh, we do have all have whatnot shows coming up. I just want to kind of share. Yeah, the actually, a busy there. couple weeks. So, yeah. Up. So both uh, Vince and I had to move our shows this week. Um, so if you want to go bookmark the shows, ours is going to be yours is going to be first. Yours is going to be tomorrow night. Tomorrow. So, yep. So if anyone's hanging around, wants to go do some mystery boxes, want, need to buy some protectors they need or anything like that, go over and do that with the Poppin' Duo tomorrow night. Go hang out, have some fun. Um, and John's doing a big Marvel, big Marvel show. show. Yeah. So John and Joanna are doing a big Marvel show on Saturday at 7.03. I don't know if the 03 means anything, but 7.03. So, oh, I like that. That should be because they know they're going to be late. So if they say seven, they're going to be seven oh three. You know what? What a what a smart then, idea on their part. I think that's all it is. And then uh, we moved our soda show over to Sunday. So Sunday night we're going to do it the same time we normally do on Wednesday. So eight forty five. So if you want to come hang out Sunday night after a nice long weekend, um, and do some soda mystery boxes. We'll have our plus one soda mystery boxes happening. And then it looks like uh, John's doing a full soda show on Monday, I believe, after their Marvel show happens on Saturday. So they'll have some sodas and probably some games and stuff like that as well. And then the following week, I know you'll be back probably on Tuesday that week. Yeah. Um, uh, yes. And we're going to do something smaller, I think, on Tuesday. Different. Yeah. Something yeah. smaller. Something different. And then the next weekend, if you guys didn't know, is the big Whatnot Con. So Whatnot Con is happening all that weekend, Thursday through Sunday. Um, lots of, I think, 1,300 different sellers are, that are doing things in all categories, pretty this much. Crazy, so yeah. A lot of categories. You'll see a lot of them, everything, video games, Lego, uh, 
probably cards, all kinds of stuff are going on. So uh, lots of different ones, but both John and I have shows going on. I have mine on Friday night. Uh, John Hatz is on Sunday. So if you haven't went over and bookmarked those, those would be appreciated. Um, and we're doing some special giveaways, some special deals, all kinds of stuff are going to be happening with this. So um, we'll definitely be bringing out some fire pieces for this as well too and uh i think we're gonna do like a bigger mystery box like a different Fun. kind of style mystery like mystery box and stuff like that for this but we'll have some stuff and buy it now too like i said we're going through a lot through storage this week stuff that doesn't fit our collection and from our collection or other things that i might not have touched in three years <laughs> literally those, like, are, those are always those are the most fun to, uh oh. those squirrel away boxes yeah, I call uh, them. you never know what you'll find uh, going up uh, this week. I'll start previewing stuff. Uh, we have some swag and stuff we'll be unboxing in a video coming up. Uh, I know uh, we have a soda, sh soda, you know, with the soda shows and stuff like that. So all those kind of good things. But uh, yeah, there's uh, the whatnot con will be interesting to see how that all turns out. I know you guys are busy that weekend, so you weren't able yeah. to. Do we'll be it. out of town that weekend and the weekend after that. Yeah, it's and it's weekend craziness, weekend. craziness, craziness. Yes, April's going to be nuts. It's going to be so, nuts. It's good releases this week, though. I'm, I, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited for uh, C2E2 at the end of the month. We got some good Star Wars stuff coming up. May the 4th is around the corner. If you guys are getting into collecting or if you've been collecting for a while, you should be getting excited because I feel like it's starting to ramp up. Uh, after this week, or then right around the corner will be our we'll fun be day in the San Diego, San Diego Comic Con, yep. you know, and then and then soon after that, it will feel like oh, it's New York Comic Con time again, all over again. Yes, so you know, definitely some cool stuff uh, with summer and you know, with uh, fun days is always just fun. <laughs> I I think if they do something live again, uh, last year I did that live stream. I think I'll do that again. Or watching like people tweet from fun days and show off what they got and see pictures of things and all kinds of things. I won't be at fun days, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. but I'd love to like I, I went live last year during that time. I think that was fun. That was like a really like fun stream because we could share like all what's going on and what's happening. Yeah, the kind are always yeah. exciting. Yeah, there does it definitely adds a whole layer of uh, excitement. Um, so yeah, the, I know you guys put out a video today. I haven't got a chance to watch it. Um, what video was, what did you guys do? We today? did today. We did a box battle. Oh, you guys can go watch who won. We actually opened up some, uh, not opened up, but we opened up a box from fugitive that, uh, we bought some boxes from no, pulled a nice OG Disney rail from, so you guys can uh, watch that. And then, uh, We've got some fun video. You know, we actually shot it. We've been shoot, trying to shoot well in advance right now because we are going to be out of town with the kids' stuff this this month of April. Like, we're losing every weekend. So we've been trying to shoot some stuff in advance. So we have those boxes. Actually, if you guys come out to our mystery box tomorrow night over on Whatnot, it's going to probably spoil a couple of the videos because there are some things that we pulled in those that uh, were probably yeah, from videos out. that have not come out yet. Not all of it, because we got some bigger hits that you guys won't see over there. But if you join us for for that, you'll see some of that. And it, it's actually a pretty good box. You get the previews up now, and you guys can check it out. But we've got some some fun stuff in there, and some fun videos. We got some shorts coming out this week too. We've been having a good time with that. So, got some fun stuff this week. Yeah, we have. I know we're doing a soda video this weekend. We have some more from the Funko Shop and keep doing that i actually have some other sodas coming in i got some good deals on like uh box lunch and hot topic recently. oh really yeah some good soda buys on those um so some deals happening i'm like oh, i might as well buy some and try them out and i love those because they never come from a sealed case so you yeah. could get like four chases and now they're letting you buy more sodas than like two yeah they're not them. yeah they're not doing the I remember yeah. it happened with uh, Hot Topic. We bought we bought two of the Zimmin Gur. Yeah, I think one, and we pulled two chases. I didn't even know what the common looked like because we only got two, 
So, like, I had to look at the can because I didn't realize we both pulled chases. So, yeah, those are always fun. The uh, the Funko sh- or I'm sorry, the Hot Topic and yeah, Box, box Lunch. Lunch. Especially Game back Top would do that sometimes, too. You know, those kind of things. So, definitely some good ones. Um, and then, uh, what else we got? Next week, we'll do a preview for our Whatnot Con. We also have some mystery boxes um, and some Funko NFTs. Uh, to that came in that we haven't opened yet as well. Um, I've been meaning to do a small video and it, it might be a short with some of the April Fools uh, packs. I don't yeah. know if I'll see if I can turn it into a short. Um, but also I never unboxed the the pops from last year I got. I oh, still yeah. have they, yeah, because they, they actually oh, those wow. came in not that long ago. No, that's the sad thing. They came yeah. in maybe like a month ago or yeah. two. So, yeah, we just got them from a year ago. Jeez, that's so crazy. Um, but, yeah, so definitely some stuff to check out and have some fun with. But, yeah, if you, you guys aren't checking out some of the sites, look for some deals and things like that because they're throwing up stuff all the different time. And then they go away. Like, I know yeah. like Entertainment Earth had some really good deals on some stuff. And I went back there, and it's all gone. It's not on sale anymore. It's regular price, like full price again so yeah, and if you want that farmer freddy that's only available to the 14th so not yeah. a lot of time for that either i mean you only got a couple days so check this weekend if uh farmer freddy's a priority for you guys wonder if if they don't sell out will we be in a future well they still don't they still have their five dollar mystery box deal going on they did as of about a week and a half maybe yeah. two weeks I ago think they still have it i think they'll always just keep that going on now it's so, probably not a bad idea on their part i wonder if like when you remember when we all bought them like bought 10 of them or what what do you now have to buy you have to buy more than that well 60 13 13 of them so we should all buy 13 of them see what <laughs> which is crazy 13 pops for 65 bucks like yeah but are we gonna get a lot of shazams that's what i'd yeah. like to know Get Shazam's. What else? Uh, we liked our. I I liked the the round of boxes that we got from there. I think it was. I think it's fun. I think you know talking you know, like we probably need to do another thing where we spend a night talking about mystery boxes. Maybe yeah. we need to bring. Maybe that's one where we need to bring another guest on that opens a lot of mystery boxes as well too. Yeah. Talk mystery boxes with us, um, or maybe a couple of different people. Maybe some of the people that are doing new channels and things like that too as well. Um, but I know we've been talking about a couple other guests coming up on the show as well, too. So some good stuff. Got a Spider-Man die cast in a mystery box. Was that from the Funko Shop $5 mystery box? I mean, that would be a good deal. Yeah, Spider-Man die cast. Yeah, no, so, Michael knows a good mystery box. Actually, our video... But do we get our Michael or do we get Michael's hands? That, that's the question. Michael, we if you come Michael. on, or is it going to be hands only? That's what I'm. If if we bring you on, are, are we going to do a hands only inter, uh, interview? Because so Michael does put a good mystery box right. together. We'll have to do it. Yeah, he has some good mystery boxes. And he opened our second one. We actually got two from the last round, and we opened our second one, which I don't think that video has come out yet. But that was also another fun box. So we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, definitely, I think. <laughs> Um, we can also, uh, you know, I think we have a lot coming up. I mean, man, it's, it's going to be summer around the corner. Uh, I know everyone gets ready for vacations and all those kind of things. I'll be here before you know it. That's yep. all I can say. So some good stuff. Enjoy the so, ride. John, I have no idea what videos they have coming up because they just put a box battle video out today. today yeah. Well. It, which is not their typical. Not their normal later in like, the week. Box battle day so i don't know what else they have coming up this weekend i'm sure that they're going to be doing some kind of preview video on saturday for their marvel thing i bet you i would I bet think, you. think so so yeah, go watch your video from today they did uh boom loop boxes yeah some good stuff because so, go check it out i bet you saturday's video probably will be uh, for the marvel auction so maybe unboxing some of the stuff or showing some of the collection they got in 
uh, you know, some of the different things like that. So definitely bookmark their auction for Saturday for Marvel if you are a Marvel fan. If you're not a Marvel fan, you can still hang out. You can still have some fun. But, yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, so hopefully uh, I don't know what else is coming up for him for next week. But I'm sure he's getting a lot of like questions about the Star Wars pops and all that kind of stuff that just came out, all those goodies, and they're, they're like they they're actually like available for order, so all yeah. those kind of things. So, um, but uh, yeah, I had a good time hanging out with you. I don't. John had emergency work emergency. Mm. Hopefully, nothing crazy. <laughs> yes. Never know. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, nothing too crazy though but hopefully all is okay and all right and then we'll see them back next week next week we are on your channel i think we're back oh, with crap. you yeah Vincent. you're right we are yes so we're back back over on vince we'll channel. talk a little more star wars next week too we'll get john's yeah. opinion on him we don't want him to completely miss out on him we'll see what comes up this week we'll find out what we're uh, going to be talking about next thursday i know We'll have lots of good things. So hopefully everyone has a great week. You'll yes. be able to see us all week long, it seems like, anyway. Yeah, they're going to hang out with us starting tomorrow, <laughs> then on Saturday back over to John, Sunday with Josh, and then back on Monday, uh, Monday Tuesday, John, you, Thursday, Friday. Taking we Wednesday get, off. Uh, yeah, Wednesday, of us. Wednesday's off right now for everyone. Okay. Enjoy your Wednesday. Enjoy your Wednesday if you don't want to come to anything. <laughs> Wednesday is the only thing I think we got off coming up. <laughs> this week so uh, everyone enjoy their wednesday everyone yes. have a great night and thanks for coming out and hanging out we'll see you on the next one bye everyone bye everyone <laughs>